PS, you're watching Spectrum Flashback TV. It's classic television. From tele... From the days of the Revolutionary War throughout American history, the code of conduct has evolved from the heroic lives, experiences, and deeds of American servicemen and women. A series of time-honored concepts, the six articles of the Code of Conduct were formalized in 1955 by President Eisenhower. The Code of Conduct is designed to guide American prisoners of war, to sustain hope, and survive captivity with honor. Article 6 states, I will never forget that I am an American fighting for freedom, responsible for my actions, and dedicated to the principles which made my country free. I will trust in my God and in the United States of America. You're watching All in the Family on Spectrum Flashback TV. Now a Flashback Trivia question about All in the Family. Producer Norman Lear got the idea for the show from what British TV comedy? The answer is coming up. You guys, this is it. Oh, let's see. This is the dress I want for the dance. I'm so psyched for this. Cool. I don't even want to go. You look great in that color. It's really hot. Why don't you want to go, Megan? Because Michael keeps asking me to have sex. And, like, I don't know what to say. You mean, like, how to say no without hurting his feelings? Yeah. So hard. Just say something like, I really care about you, Michael, but I'm just not ready for that. I say, look what time it is. I have to get home. <laughs> <laughs> just say, no, I've decided it's not a good idea for me right now. Oh, oh God. <laughs> I'm so... When you think about it, there are a number of good ways to say no to having sex. You just need to find the one that's right for you. Mm. I wish you were going to the dance, Megan. So what are you going to do about Michael? I'm going to say no. N O. <laughs> good. Good. <laughs> All right, guys. Here's the flashback trivia answer to our All in the Family question. Producer Norman Lear got the idea for the show from what British TV comedy? All in the Family was based on the British TV show Till Death Do Us Part. Lear created the role of Archie Bunker as the lead for the American version of the show. The objective is to provide the consumer with as much information as they need to buy the kind of products that will serve them in the best possible way. Taste testing is done uh, in conjunction with the statistician who sets up the whole experiment and the whole design so it's, the, it's scientifically done. An anechoic chamber is one without echoes. These rooms are critical in the testing of our audio equipment. We buy the products from stores exactly the way a consumer would have access to the product. In order to maintain the accuracy of uh, the results we get and the analysis that we do, uh, we follow rigid test procedures and standards. Well, this machine is our durability tester. We use it to test how long keyboards last and also how long printers last. We call it fingers because it simulates fingers. your turn. Shop out of school. Loser. You're going nowhere. Take low-paying, dead-end job. Palmer. There goes college. Boyfriend dumps you? Great. So much for true love. Change dirty diapers in the middle of the night. Yeah. Hey. Who's winning this game anyway? Nobody wins this game. You got that right. Energy efficiency delivers powerful savings for you and the planet. For easy tips, like Alliance to Save Energy, Washington, D.C. This is Spectrum Flashback TV, classic television. Some things are worth repeating. In 1802, the U.S. Patent Office was established, and William Thornton was appointed as its first superintendent. Mr. Thornton had come to the attention of Congress when he submitted the winning plan for the new Capitol building. In Connecticut, Abel Porter opened America's first brass mill. 
Run on horsepower, his mill would provide the buttons for military uniforms for the next 150 years. The nation's first hotel, the Union Hotel, was built at Saratoga Springs, New York by Gideon Putnam. Also in New York, Congress established the country's first military academy. The site chosen was West Point on the Hudson River. In rural America, farmers and their families fought boredom and isolation by creating their own forms of entertainment. Log rolling, shooting competitions, barbecues, and get-togethers flourished, while dances like country jigs and the Virginia Reel remained popular. This was America in 1802. Around the services, I'm Army Sergeant Heather Ann Bozeman. The U.S. Army Soldier System Center has fielded a new flak jacket. The new jacket weighs 35% less than the current body armor. The Interceptor Body Armor, or IBA, replaces the old Personnel Armor System ground troop, now considered outdated after more than 15 years of service. The Dragons of Marine Medium Helicopter Squadron 265 recently celebrated completion of 45,000 flight hours without a Class A mishap. Awarded the Commandant's Aviation Trophy, the squadron serves as the air combat element for the 31st Marine Expeditionary Unit, Special Operations Capable. Since November of 1998, the Dragons have successfully completed two no-notice deployments, one to the Arabian Gulf, the other in East Timor. That's a woman at look around the services. You're watching the Wild Wild West on Spectrum Flashback TV. Flashback trivia, the Wild Wild West. Actor Michael Dunn, who portrayed Dr. Miguelito Loveless, had an interesting past. Do you know what it was? Stand by. If you've got a minute, I can give you some important information about time. Did you know that a lot of your VA benefits have time limitations? Some expire after a few years. Others as soon as 90 days after your discharge. These benefits can be worth thousands and thousands of dollars. And if you don't use them, they'll just slip away. For more information, contact your family center or education center. And now, the Traveler's Space A weather forecast from the Air Mobility Command. Pedro, California. I'm Air Force Staff Sergeant Kelly Lawless Foster. This has been your Space A weather forecast from the Air Mobility Command. There's a lot of information in these books, but no matter how much you may read, it's impossible to be an expert in every field. Take powers of attorney, for example. The legal ramifications of giving a power of attorney can be far-reaching. That's why the folks at your legal office are there, to give you the best possible advice based on your individual situation. Discuss your options with your legal office before you give a power of attorney. Surrounded by acres of green meadows and forests, Crater Lake, with its brilliant deep blue color, is the deepest lake in the United States, over 1,900 feet deep. That's taller than the Empire State Building and over six times the height of the Statue of Liberty. Located in Southern Oregon, Crater Lake was formed nearly 7,000 years ago. At that time, Crater Lake was actually a mountain called Mount Mazama, reaching 12,000 feet high. A great volcanic eruption destroyed the mountain, collapsing its outer shell and creating an immense crater 33 miles around. Rain and snow soon filled the crater, forming America's deepest lake, Crater Lake. Here's our flashback trivia answer for the Wild Wild West. Actor Michael Dunn, who played Dr. Loveless, was actually a child prodigy. He attended the University of Maryland at the age of 16 and was a concert pianist. Now, back to the Wild Wild West on Flashback TV. The year was 1842. The U.S. military was exploring new technology as the first underwater mine was tested by Samuel Colt. It successfully sank a schooner and introduced the concept of using electricity to ignite gunpowder. 
Elsewhere on the seas that year, three men were convicted and hanged for the crime of mutiny, even though they never carried out the actual takeover. The USS Summers was the setting for this first and only mutinous event in the U.S. Navy's history. Out west, a landing force of Marines and sailors took over the Mexican town of Monterey. The town was returned to the Mexican government two days later with profuse apologies. It seems that Commodore Thomas Jones was mistaken when he thought the U.S. had declared war on Mexico. All part of serving our country in 1842. that time again to wish all of you Happy New Year from AFRTS. You're watching the Wild Wild West on Spectrum Flashback TV. Flashback trivia, the Wild Wild West. What famous Western star was originally cast to play Jim West? The answer coming up. Thanksgiving Day. Our family celebrates with a wonderful feast. But before we eat, each member of the family shares something that he or she is personally thankful for. It's a family tradition. The spirit of tradition. It's the way we remember and honor the values and beliefs of our ancestors. The pilgrims held the first Thanksgiving in 1621 to give thanks for a bountiful harvest. It was the beginning of an American tradition. In 1924, a new tradition was started when President Calvin Coolidge threw out the first baseball of the World Series. Americans have a lot of traditions, and their meanings vary. What makes this day special is knowing that we're a continuing part of America's heritage, sharing in the spirit of tradition. Think you're too young to start thinking about saving for your future? Well, if you started saving $50 every month, in 10 years, you could have over $8,000. In 30 years, you could have almost $50,000. And if you think 30 years seems too far off, get off your rocker. It'll be here sooner than you think. Here's the answer to our flashback trivia question about the Wild Wild West. What famous Western star was originally cast to play Jim West? That honor went to Rory Calhoun, who starred in the 1950s TV series, The Texan. Now, let's get back to the Wild Wild West. If you smoke while you're pregnant, the joy of motherhood could be rather short-lived. Help us out, register and vote. From AFRTS, you're watching Spectrum Flashback TV. It's classic television. It started with a call from the First Continental Congress. The new army needed muskets to fight the mighty British. Throughout its celebrated history, the great Springfield Armory would produce some of the most accurate and dependable rifles ever made. Innovators in quality assembly line processes, the Armory and its workers have met every challenge the country has ever thrown at them. Springfield stands today as a national historic monument, a splendid reminder of the willingness and the skill of American industry to support our nation in its times of need. Through the eyes of military photographers, this is Combat Camera. I'm Jim Langdon. Birds mix well in nature, but birds and planes can be a dangerous combination. 
birds present a hazard by either striking aircraft or getting sucked into the engine. At Osan Air Base Republic of Korea, they're using both old and new methods to take care of the problem. Howell Lewis with the 51st Fighter Wing fires blanks from his shotgun to scare birds away. The Master Sergeant Gary Wilson shows off a newer method. He's using an anti-bird strike cannon to keep birds out of the flight line. The cannon uses irritating and frightening noises to scare the birds off. Now that it's all clear, the Boeing 747 can take off. It takes eight of the cannons to keep the planes and birds out of harm's way. That's Combat Camera. You're watching The Invaders on Spectrum Flashback TV. Flashback trivia question about The Invaders. In later episodes, opponents of the aliens band together. What do they call themselves? The answer in a moment. As the Apollo astronauts worked in the harsh environment of the moon's surface, their helmet visors had to be carefully protected. The plastic surfaces of these visors were coated with an abrasion-resistant material, keeping their view of the dramatic surroundings crystal clear. Earth sometimes has its own harsh environments. Many of today's sunglasses are coated with that same scratch-resistant material, which has saved many a beachgoer from missing some wonderful views. Back on the moon, the astronauts worked with small cordless power tools for collecting surface and subsurface soil samples. That same technology has been put to work in today's home environment. Cordless drills, vacuums, and screwdrivers all have their origin in the Apollo space program. They have also made the home workshop an easier and safer place to work. Scratch-resistant coatings and cordless power tools. Space technology at work here on Earth. Playing roulette is never a sure thing. You only have one in 38 chances of hitting the right number. But here's something that's not a gamble. With every dollar you save for your college education, the government multiplies it through the Montgomery GI Bill. You're always a winner. It's a sure bet. Stress and anger, marital and family problems can lead to family violence. Before family problems can escalate into violence, contact Family Advocacy. They can help. Here's the answer to our flashback trivia question about the invaders. In later episodes, opponents of the aliens band together. What do they call themselves? As more Earthlings learn about the invaders, they organize into a group known as the Believers. Flashback TV continues on Spectrum. Top of the morning to you, Sergeant Stephen. Morning. Which figure are you working on this week? Oh, one of your boys from the Revolutionary War. A British grenadier officer from the 37th Regiment of Foot. Ah, yes. Handsome chap that officer was. Yeah, but not quite complete. But I think I found what I'm looking for. This color paint for the soldier's sash. Well, I hate to contradict you, but I think this is a little too light. Let me check. Well, I've done a lot of research on this, and I'm pretty sure that's the proper shade. Oh, well, you got me on that one. Good show. Here you go. Always a pleasure doing business with you, Sergeant. Likewise. See you next time. <laughs> Doesn't that just get your goat when the Yanks know as much about our history as we do? No. Suppose he's done his homework. Your host country has a lot of culture and history to offer. Learning more about it can be an entertaining experience. You're watching The Invaders on Spectrum Flashback TV. In 1804, Americans explored new lands and learned more about their natural surroundings. Meriwether Lewis, President Jefferson's personal secretary, and William Clark, an army officer, set off on an expedition to explore and map the West. Over the next two years, they would travel all the way to the Pacific Ocean and return with scouting reports about Indians and the West's abundant natural resources. 
Other Americans were also getting in touch with nature. John James Audubon began drawing and classifying birds. The first agricultural fair was held in Washington, D.C. The first of California's large orange groves was planted. And the first bananas were imported from Cuba. It was also during this year that Aaron Burr killed Alexander Hamilton in a duel over personal and political accusations. This was America in 1804. You're watching The Invaders on Spectrum Flashback TV. Okay, Sparky, you think you've got what it takes? This is the toughest, most unrelenting adversary you will ever face. A preschool child. But as a family child care provider, you can't meet the challenge. The courses you've taken at the Family Center, like child development and child safety, have prepared you. You have the training, tools, and the confidence. And you're going to need it. Hi, Sergeant Hunter. As you move down your career path, specially trained employment counselors at the Family Center can help military spouses and other family members identify and develop job skills, participate in special programs, consider various options, and locate jobs in the public and private sector. Visit your Family Center for professional employment assistance. Flashback trivia question, the invaders. What branch of service is most often infiltrated by the aliens? The answer in a minute. In the 1920s, the jazz age was in full swing. The American writer who chronicled its progress was Francis Scott Key Fitzgerald. He defined the flapper, the newly independent woman. He called the people of the jazz age the lost generation. His characters lived in a time of prohibition, bootlegging, and rapidly increasing wealth. In The Great Gatsby, innocence clashed with life on the wrong side of the law. Tender as the Night follows a group of rich and troubled Americans living abroad. The money he earned from his popular fiction enabled Fitzgerald and his family to live the very life he described. After the stock market crash, Fitzgerald went to Hollywood to recoup his fortune. There he began a novel, The Last Tycoon, but he died still struggling with debts. He wrote, I have never been able to forgive the rich for being rich, and it has colored my entire life and works. What do all these foods have in common? A lot of saturated fat, which is the main dietary source of cholesterol in your blood. You can do something about it, though. When shopping for meats, look for leaner cuts and trim the excess fat. When possible, choose low-fat or fat-free alternatives and always read the nutrition label. You don't have to give up taste to eat healthy. Simply pay attention to the content of the food you buy. It'll do your heart good. You're watching The Invaders on Spectrum Flashback TV. Here's the answer to our flashback trivia question about the invaders. What branch of service is most often infiltrated by the aliens? The U.S. Air Force is the favorite service of aliens invading our planet. Aim high. Now, back to the invaders on Spectrum Flashback TV. Hello, I'm Clint Black. New national standards for music and the other arts in public schools can help ensure your child receives a complete education. To find out more, call this toll-free number. This is Spectrum Flashback TV, classic television. Some things are worth repeating.